For today's sponsor we have GVG Mall, where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16 and using my SKEG discount code will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, I should get plays. I'm Fabio Pisco and once again... Welcome to my channel. So today's video is a review about the new Adrenaline 21.4.1 drivers which are a major update in terms of visuals and, who knows, maybe in terms of performance, but it brings some really interesting things. Um, this is a really different video because I'm doing it like right here and I'll show you things like live, I'll show you my desktop and so on, so on, so on, so I can tell you some of the differences uh, and, some, uh, of of, and some of the new things added in this driver version, okay? As I say in all my videos, 21 is the year, 2021, 4 is the month, April, and 1 is the revision in that same month, so the first revision of April. Um, and well, let's start from the beginning, I guess. So, we have here the driver, and the first thing that we can actually notice is that the driver is already recommended. As you can see, Adrenaline 21.4.1 HW, WHQL, sorry. So it's already the recommended one. So instead of going to optional and then recommended, they just went and put it right to recommended. So they are like, yes, consumer cha, they are fine for using. Cringeness apart, what I mean is that AMD seems to be confident in this driver pack. Uh, so let's go to the release notes. As for the release notes, we have lots of things. So AMD Link, for the ones who don't know, AMD Link is the... Um, is the software application for your smartphone where you can monitor, for example, your FPS, your CPU usage, GPU usage, temperatures and so on. Basically, you can monitor your computer using your smartphone, okay? That's the AMD Link and we have lots of new things. So, a brand new AMD Link for Windows client is now available, blah, blah, blah. So, you can also have uh, the AMD Link for the, the Windows client now, nice. A new Link feature allows a uh, new feature that allows you to easily connect with a friend to play games together on a single PC or even help them troubleshoot a PC issue problem. That's pretty nice. So basically, it seems like it's a, it's a streaming thing. Um, so you can actually play with your uh, play games together easily uh, in an easier way. And you can troubleshoot, for example, let's say like the same way using TeamViewer. I did not test this, but maybe... Uh, it is something like that, I assume. We also have redesigned streaming. We have new quality of service feature that dynamically adjusts your streaming settings based on your internet connection. And we have now support for 4K and 144 FPS streaming. That's pretty nice, 144 FPS streaming. As for the Radiant software, we have lots of things. Customized user interface now. Uh, Vivid gaming display, coloring enhancement. Color deficiency correction, improved search bar fu functionality. Stats information for games is now available in the games tab. So we have lots, lots of new features. And we have record and stream differences and so on. We also have the AMD Crash Defender Prevents. Prevents data and keeps your system running in some cases where your system may have otherwise experienced a crash or hang. So this is pretty nice. So instead of having, let's say, a black screen or a, a blue screen or a crash or a hang, you can now actually maintain your system without crashes. This is a pretty interesting feature. AMD Crash Defender. You also have Microsoft Play Ready AV1 decode support. We can still we can still use the AV1 codec in the AMD suit. Sweet, I mean suit. <laughs> we can still use the codec on the suite, but maybe later we will be able to. We also have the, um, the AMD Ifinity support extended to Ryzen Mobile 4000 and Ryzen Mobile 5000 series, which is pretty nice. We have also lots of fixed issues like the brightness flickering, uh, the Steam VR problems, some of them. Applying changes in the Radiant performance tuning may sometimes fail to take effect for changes made for to power tuning, so people having these problems have them now fixed. And we have lots of more things, but I'll show you 
in the software itself because it's easier to understand. So we have lots of things, but most of them are visual and not performance wise. They are just really cool to have. The new AMD 21.4.1 drivers also bring one really interesting thing and in this case is that is in the installer that now lets you select the type of installation you want so you have the standard I think the advanced and you have now the driver only so it is a thing that most people were waiting um, so yeah pretty nice let's move on so the home is actually uh, a bit changed you unless you are recording you have the um, the new AMD Adrenaline symbol here, which is actually different. Um, then on the gaming tab, you actually now have the games and you have the details here on the game them itself. So as you can see, I was testing PUBG previously for this video and you can see now the average FPS. The same for Cyberpunk and uh, minimum time and so on. So it's pretty nice that you actually have the, the details right here, so you just open the gaming tab and you have all the details here instead of having a, a tab just for that, which doesn't make sense for me. So all the details are here, pretty nice in my opinion. Then you have the record and stream, this is a new tab, so nothing of this is new, but it's like um, a renewed tab. Uh, so now we have the record and stream, and we have the record live stream, scene editor and media. As for the record, the record, sorry, or record, you actually have now uh, the record or the record, I simply don't know how to pronounce it, whatever, um, the record feature, okay, it's here, and then you can simply, now you can simply just go here uh, and disable the camera and the microphone and you have also here the shortcut keys, so CTRL, Control Shift M and Control Sh Control Shift C. So basically, you can now easily just click it. Just with one click, you can disable the microphone and camera. The settings were previously presented. Okay, they are not new, but they are just so much better. The, the user interface it is just so much better. So you can simply now uh, mute these things. As for the live stream, it is also better. You can still select the account and link your account. Then you have the same options, microphone and camera, mute, uh, or disable the camera, microphone level, and apart from this, it's almost the same. Then you have the scene edit editor, and it's the same also. The media will show the media folder, will show the media the, of your recording, so it doesn't, show, it doesn't show media here because I actually moved the folder, that's why. One, one thing also, the, record, the recordings now uh, work like NVIDIA ones, so they will create, they will just not put the, the file here, they will create a folder. If you play games, for example, it will create a folder like this, for example, player, unknowns, battlegrounds, and for the Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk 2077, okay? So the software automatically creates a folder and puts the record file inside, okay? Now we have the performance, and we have this. Now we have performance tracking. So basically, you can just go here, select what you want, FPS, so the GPU, and you can select if you want GPU utilization, GPU clocks, everything, power consumption, current temperature, junction, fan speed, uh, everything. The same applies to VRAM, CPU, and RAM. So CPU, you can actually get the CPU utilization, peak clock speed, voltage, current temperature, thermal current, everything. As for the RAM, the same. It's pretty insane, and you just you just have to go here. For example, press one, one. Sorry. Um, okay. Sorry, I guess one once again, and you ha just have to go and start logging, and you now have a logging of the metrics. Basically, it is a logging of all the settings that you chose: FPS, GPU, VRAM, CPU, and in this case, even RAM which is insane, now it just stop logging, I think that uh, the logs, okay, uh, users, uh, local AMD, okay, let's open it. Okay, so now I basically changed the settings and, and selected the, um, a custom folder for the metrics, so as you see now, okay, stop logging. Then I go to the folder I selected, and here we have the log in an Excel file. Open it, and you have the data here. So basically we have the GPU utilization, everything is selected, 
is here and you have all the data here which is pretty pretty insane if you ask me so anything that uh, kind of uses testing and want to know for example want to make a graphic of power consumption if you want to make a graphic of gpu memory clocks uh cpu memory clocks you have now this easy thing inside the amd radeon the amd radeon suite okay so you ac we actually had this before we have but not as detailed as this one pretty pretty great so you can just go there performance metrics start logging and you have it as for the tuning it is the same as you can see advisors the same also as for the settings we have also here the same the graphics are the same display are the same everything is the same okay my bad in display we have new things we have this one display color enhancement Built-in profiles for your display that improve and enhance game and application color vibrancy. Okay, so basically you can go here, Vivid Gaming. And you see the colors have changed. So more contrast, um, and basically that's, that's it. More contrast, the colors change a bit also. Uh, if you disable, it goes back to normal. Basically, uh, this is for people that play games like, for example, CSGO and some other games that need higher contrast ranges so you can see the players better and so on, so on, so on. So this is a pretty interesting thing. And we now have the color deficiency correction. Accessibility mode that allows tweaking of colors for users who experience varying levels of color vision deficiency. Okay? When you enable it, you have Protonopia, you have Deuteranopia, and you have tri Tritonopia, sorry. Um, so basically the first one is adjustments for red color blindness. The second one is for green color blindness. And the third one is for blue color blindness. And you even have the, the, um, the options here so you can select them manually. Pretty damn great. Pretty damn great. So these are one of the new things. As we go into the video, same hotkeys. The only difference in hotkeys actually now is that the, um, you can actually enable or disable them like pretty easy. So enabled, disabled, enabled, disabled, enabled. As for accounts, it is the same. Devices, the same. You now have the option to enable the AMD link server. And you now have the auto configure Windows firewall, get AMD link mobile, open AMD link for Windows. So basically you just have more links that you can access, but the base is the same. As for the record or record, it's practically the same, but you can finally, uh, I mean, it's not the same. The distribution, the distribution is different. So basically you now have recording on the left side and live streaming and media on the right side, which was different before. So basically you had recording here, media also here, uh, and the options that are here in the performance and preferences were on the right. So basically you just had to keep scrolling down and now you have the record and stream uh, tab and you just have record stream recording sorry streaming st streaming Jesus my fucking English I'm so tired and kind of uh, heal so yeah sorry about that so recording once again live streaming and media okay so different things and you can now finally introduce introduce the the video rates uh, or something with numbers basically before you couldn't do this you had to like mess with the slider and then with the arrows for example and do this and you can now simply go here and select the ones you want which is pretty damn nice the codecs are the same the encoding type uh, ABC and HEVC okay yeah basically that's it so as you see as you see media and live stream here now we have these two these two uh, new tabs, so they were divided with the performance, as you see here. So the performance logging is here. You select the, um, the, the folder here and then the sampling interval. In this case, one second, okay? Uh, and you have now the preferences. So this was actually on this record and stream part, which uh, was called general. So these three, these three ones were, co were called general. They were in the same tab and now they are divided. As for the press, the preferences, we have the VR streaming, okay, and we have those same things like the in-game overlay, web browser, upgrade advisor, system tray menu, uh, advertisements, toast notifications, the language always on top, and so on, so on, so on, animations and effects, 
and so on. So basically that's it. Um, so yeah, basically um, this pack is more focused on visual differences, it seems. So uh, improved user interface, visual differences on the software, and in my opinion, that's mostly it. That's mostly it. So basically just user interface improvements. As for the performance, I already tested. Once again, no black screens, no crashes. Everything seems to be working fine. Uh, and we have a way, way better user interface for most scenarios, way better. Um, as for performance, it is what, what I told you and you'll see actually after this. So once again, Thanks a lot for watching, there's really not much more to say. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe and share this video. Leave your comment in the comment section and let me know what is your experience with these drivers because, as always, we need to help each other as a community. And if you have problems, leave your problems here in the comment section so others can see and can kind of interconnect with you so they can fix their problems also if you manage to fix yours. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. Want to talk? V, been a while. Spin it. What you need? Pepe asked me to talk you up. What? He too shot a hand over the Yetis himself? Uh, tell him I don't fight. Not yet. Cut him some slack, will you? You'll pay. Just need some more time. Do I look like a priest that runs a charity to you? You borrow Eddies. You gotta pay him back with interest. It's common fucking knowledge. Are you suggesting I let a flaky cunt who can't keep a deal off the hook? No, you let him off because it's me asking. Huh, you know me. I'm a man of the bid.